we invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. The Maldives Pole and Line Skipjack Fishery has been operating for centuries and has been the lifeline of the Maldivian economy since before the boom of the tourism industry in the mid-1970s. The fishery not only provides a large proportion of the country's income from the tuna trade and export, but also provides one of the only sources of protein for the Maldivian population. Most fishing vessels employ a crew of about 15 to 20 fishers, and they catch small, live fish to use as bait for the tuna close to shore. Once the live bait is caught, vessels travel out to the open water searching for schools of tuna using binoculars and relying on sightings of birds and or dolphins. Once located, the fishers use the live bait fish to keep the tuna swimming around the boat in a frenzy, which helps when landing the fish on their hooks. The boats also sprays water off the back of the vessel onto the surface of the ocean, to mimic the action of fish being chased by predators, which also helps to attract the tuna. Fishers lower their lines into the water and wait for a tuna to get hooked on the end, before pulling the fish up onto the boat. Non-target species. The use of a single hook and line for fisher means that there is very little bycatch, and because fishing takes place at the surface of the ocean, there is virtually no negative impact on different marine habitats. Once the tuna are on board, they are placed on ice immediately and taken into shore where they are either exported frozen, or processed in one of the factories. Maldivian rod fishing includes wooden hull and fiber reinforced plastic vessels less than 30 meters in length. At the time of this writing, more than 677 vessels with an average of 15 to 20 fishermen per vessel are engaged in skipjack fishing in the Maldives. Low volume rod fishing provides about 10% of the world's canned tuna production, the majority of which is caught in Japan, Indonesia and the Maldives in the Indian Ocean. Because fishing is more labor-intensive than many other fishing methods, fishing needs to create more jobs and play an important role in ensuring the livelihoods of tens of thousands of workers. Maldivian rod fishing provides an important means of livelihood, supporting around 30,000 people, or 11% of the Maldivian workforce. Fishing rod anglers are paid very well compared to other professional Maldivian. In addition to the direct benefits to fishermen, rod fishing in the Maldives has helped create an accessible and equitable form of employment for a large, and otherwise isolated, population. Maldivians have the highest per capita fish consumption in the world, averaging one pound of fish per day fish is the only staple food that is not imported into the Maldives, and tuna alone accounts for 85% of the protein that people consume. <laughs> 